Welcome back to Witness. Yeah. I really, I need to stop singing in my videos. It's appalling. Welcome back to Witness. I'm doing 12 videos in the month of December. 12 days of Witness. Today we are doing a very, you know, I was scared to do this video. I thought your assumptions were going to be pretty feisty. But you guys are just, you're too kind for feistiness. My good friend Nikki Blackader did this video a few months ago answering the assumptions you've made about us. So go check out her video if you haven't already. That's what we're doing today. So I went over on Instagram full of fear, very nervous. Tell me the assumptions you've made about me. I'll tell you if they're true or not. I'm really excited about this video. Almost every single Whitmas video is going to have a giveaway in it. There is a giveaway in this video, so make sure you stay tuned. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe so you never miss a fit tip with wit again. Also, so that you never miss a Whitmas video again, okay? Whitmas, it's Whitmas. A lot of you have these same assumptions, okay? Literally, you're not a cat person. You hate cats. And I got about 50 assumptions that I don't like cats. This is incorrect. I grew up in Arizona until sixth grade and I always wanted a cat. I begged and I pleaded and I would just kneel at my mom's feet and say, mom, can I please have a cat? And my mom said, no, absolutely not. We live in Arizona and there are coyotes here, okay? And cats are eaten by coyotes. Then my parents told me we were moving to Ohio and I was, you know, um, devastated but they said I could have a cat once we got there okay you know so little old me sixth grade Whitney gets to Ohio first thing I do let's go buy a cat let me show you my little kitties right here so this is the kitty that I got this is Chuckles Chuckles did pass away last month okay my dad called and told me that it's very sad day my sweet little Chuckles is now in heaven but this was her son Tiger and Tiger he's still alive okay he's doing great things this is empty look at that you see how cute they are Look at them, love my little chuckles. So, I don't know where this assumption came from, you know, because I love cats. Sarah assumes if you weren't doing YouTube, you'd want to go back to school and pursue a grad degree. So true. I always thought that I would go back to school. Always, always, always. I was like, you know, after I get my bachelor's, I'll work for a year or two and then I'll go back. Maybe one day I still will, you never know. Right now, I don't even have enough time to breathe or sleep or eat, so, um, you know, it's not ideal right now, but maybe one day. This was a great one. This said, you don't have a lot of friends, but the ones you do have are very close to your heart. So true. A lot of you guys assumed this. You know, my heart's been shattered too many times. My heart's been stabbed in the back and ripped out of my chest, thrown in a trash can and lit on fire way too many times. So what I've learned over my years on earth is I'd rather have four shiny quarters, very shiny quarters than a hundred dingy pennies. This one's good. That you were a high achiever in high school. No. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. You know, nobody, nobody told me the importance of high school, okay? Like, my life in high school was gymnastics. So when I started applying to colleges and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. This is the minimum requirement? You know, I made up for it in college. In college, I graduated with honors, which I was very proud of. That's when I realized school was important. I was like, you know what? Maybe I should get good grades. A lot of people assume this one. You never go anywhere without makeup on. I'm gonna be honest with you. That used to be me, okay? I would not leave my house without a full face of makeup on. It's something I've really worked on because that's just, you know, that's just a bit much. But you know, things have changed. If I need to run out of the grocery store, I don't need to put makeup on. Okay, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I need to have my eyebrows on. If my eyebrows are on, I can leave the house with no makeup on. A lot of people assumed that I am becoming vegan. I've been getting this question a ton, especially in my food videos, what I eat in a day videos. I don't know what my end goal is, but I will say that I've completely changed what I'm eating. I have heavily reduced my meat intake, heavily reduced my dairy intake. Take. And I'm liking where I'm at. I'm really changing up my ways. Chicken is absolutely disgusting to me now. I want nothing to do with chicken. Eggs? Can't remember the last time I had an egg. Slow but steady changes. And I'm feeling good about it. It's 2018. I still can't self-tan my hand. One day. A lot of people assumed that I'm an introvert. You know, 
I'm not sure about that. I think that I'm very quiet and I'm very reserved around people that I don't know. But when it's me and people I do know, your girl's crazy. I think I'm somewhere in between an introvert and an extrovert. I'm not the loud gal at the party. But once I know you, I'll chit chat your head off. A lot of you assume that I always eat healthy and I don't eat fast food. You know, I wish I could say that that's true. But eating healthy is the most difficult thing for me still until this day. How long have I been living this healthy lifestyle? A long time. The hardest part is still driving by the Taco Bell and not stopping to get a beefy flat barrel burrito, you know? I love those. I hope that I can cake it one day. But dang, I mean, how good is fast food, honestly? Like Wendy's, In-N-Out Burger, Taco Bell. It's my weakness, man. Shannon assumes that I'm the best older sister ever. I'm gonna go ask my sister. Sis, am I the best big sister ever? Let's see what she says. I'm sure she'll respond soon. No response yet, so maybe I'll follow up with a hello. Maybe three question marks. Oh, she's typing. We got the bubbles, we got the bubbles. Yes, of course, why? <sighs> That's good to know. Sam assumes you like your dogs more than your boyfriend, you know? you have assumed correctly. I'll be honest with you. I tell Stefan very frequently, I'll never love you as much as I love Navy and Indigo. It's just the truth. Oh, Rachel assumes you fall in love fast. So true. I wish I didn't. I got a weak heart, man. The second date that Stefan and I went on, which technically wasn't a date, it was like a hangout session with another friend. I knew that he was the one. I mean, I didn't know if he was the one, but I knew I was gonna, you know, date him, you know? I really liked him, fell real quick that evening. Then a week later I said, it's either me or nothing, okay? Date me. Yes, I fall in love very quickly. It has broken my heart way too many times. I don't know why I do it. I don't know when I'll learn my lesson. Your house is always spotless. No, in fact, Stefan gets very annoyed at me when he comes over and my house is a freaking mess. You know, one time Stefan gave me a talk about how it would take less time to hang up the clothes after I wear them than to throw them on the floor and pick them up later. To my right, I have a big pile of clothes that need to be hung up. Maybe one day I'll get better at that. Today is not the day. Nicole says, I assume you have a man, but you don't need a man. Nicole, you're not wrong. This one's so funny. You used to straighten your naturally straight hair when straightening was a trend. So true. Why did I do that? All through high school, every day I'd wake up and straighten my hair. You guys have seen my hair. It's pinned straight. I was a crazy gal back then. M assumes <laughs> you cry over the smallest things when you are alone. I enjoy crying. I think crying is good for you. I don't cry all the dang time. Sometimes I'll sing a song to Navy or Indigo about the love that I have for them and I'll be crying. Sometimes I look at Navy and Indigo and I cry. I don't know, man. Love them so much. You're a romantic. Ah, mm. I'm gonna have to say no to that one. You know, romance and me, mm, not my favorite. Not my favorite. This is an interesting assumption. This assumption is you never take a few weeks rest from the gym. That assumption is incorrect. If I'm on vacation, you won't find me working out, okay? I'm gonna enjoy my vacation. You know, I talk about living a healthy lifestyle all the freaking time. I'm a huge believer in it. And if I have to take the week off from the gym, great. Perfect, my body needs it. Very interesting, this one is, do you ever bring more than one outfit to the gym to film more Insta videos? Absolutely not. I feel like it's very ingenuine to just go into the gym and pre-film 80 videos and then pop them up. I hope my content comes across as very genuine. I hope it comes across as like, this was my workout. I filmed it, here you go, boom. I think the only thing that bothers me about it is when it's not actually a workout that you're doing. Does that make sense? That's when it just grinds my Sarah assumes that I was in a sorority. The college that I went to only had, I think, three sororities, I think. I was not in a sorority. I think if I went to a college where Greek life was huge, that probably would have shifted, but Greek life was not huge at the school that I went to, so it was never something that interested me. This assumption is from Haley, and she assumes you want to get married soon. I don't, not yet. I would love to marry Stefan one day. I do not think that right now is the right time. Also, I have a few fears in life and one of them is marriage. No idea why, but it is. Stacy assumes you always sleep with your hair tied up. I hate it. Oh, I hate sleeping with my hair tied up. It just pulls my forehead too much, you know? When my head starts hurting. What I do instead is I lay my head down on the pillow and then I push all my hair up. Reputation is your favorite Taylor Swift album. This is from Chels. 1989 is my favorite album. It just got me through some really dark places in my life, okay? I still listen to it all the time. I do love Reputation, 
but 1989 just really mm, gets me in my feels. Plus that concert, the 1989 world tour, was the first time I've ever seen Taylor Swift perform live. A night I'll never forget. I just hold that album very close to my heart. This assumption is from Jessica and she assumes you will move to LA one day like the rest of American YouTubers. You know, I've answered this before. I don't love LA. You know, I really, really don't like LA. Every time I go to LA, I think, Hmm, I could probably never live here. And as for YouTube wise, I don't see that there is a reason for me to move there for my YouTube channel. I feel like the only way I'd move to LA is if I was married to somebody who like took a job in LA and we had to go. Interesting assumption. I assume you don't like pineapple on pizza and I hope that you don't. <sighs> I love it, I do. I really love pineapple on my pizza. I assume you laugh at your own jokes. I'm honestly the funniest person I've ever met. Okay, Jessica assumes you're a relationship type of gal. You've always had a boyfriend. I haven't always had a boyfriend, but I definitely do think I'm a relationship type of gal. But I definitely have not always had a boyfriend. I don't really count high school. Freshman year of college, I had a boyfriend, and then I was single my sophomore and junior year, and then I started dating somebody my senior year. And then for my last boyfriend, I was single for a year until I met Stefan, just over a year. Out of all the assumptions, this is probably the only assumption that offended me. And the assumption is, Navy is your favorite, let's be real. I find this offensive because I love my children equally and I love them for different reasons. My mom has five kids, I have four siblings, and I would always ask my mom, like, do you have a favorite child? And she said, no, I love you all equally, but I do love you for different reasons. And that is so true. Navy has been with me for what? Navy, how long have we been together? Four years now? Navy's been with me through some dark times. He's helped me through some times I don't wanna go back to. I love Navy so much for that. I feel so attached to Navy because he was my first love. He was my first paparoo. But Navy doesn't like me, okay? Navy doesn't give me the love that I need. Whereas Indigo, Indigo's all up in my face at all times. She always wants to cuddle me. She always wants to hug me. She always wants to lick my face. And it's like, I needed that. And she's so sweet. Like Navy's in a grumpy old man. And I love that. Like I love Navy for being the, a Scottish old grumpy man. But Indigo, she's just my girl, you know? Interesting assumption, it's like this person read my mind. You wish you were bilingual, so true. It devastates me that I can't speak Spanish. Stefan is bilingual, I am not. I wish that I was. This was so sweet, I try not to assume. I love that. We need more people like you. Jessica assumes that I've had my lips done. I'm assuming done as in fillers. Somebody else assumed that I got my cheeks filled. Not against it. I just haven't felt the need for it. I don't know, now you got me thinking, like, do I need my cheeks done? Ruth <laughs> assumes, Wit says, holy guacamole, me. She must really like guacamole. <laughs> I like guacamole, I don't love guacamole. I don't know why I say holy guacamole so much. I assume you never drink alcohol because alcoholism runs through your family. That is exactly why. It's like, are we best friends? All right, Michelle says, I assume you eat clean 98% of the time. I would say I eat clean 70 to 80% of the time. You know, you gotta live your life, girl. If you want a cookie, have a cookie in moderation. If you ate perfect all day and it's 10 p.m. and you're like, I really want a cookie, have a flippin' cookie. Okay, last one, I think this is really good. Rebecca says, I assume you feel like a weirdo when you first started recording your workouts. Listen, Rebecca, I still feel like a weirdo when I'm in the gym filming my workouts. If I have somebody else with me, I feel a little more comfortable, but when it's just myself and I'm like propping my phone up, I totally feel like a weirdo and people look at me like I'm a weirdo. But like, you know who's always the meanest about me filming my workouts are like older men. They always come up and say some spicy things about it and I'm like, can you let me live my best life please? All right guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun. Thank you to everyone who sent in their assumptions and thank you for being nice. Time for today's giveaway. Earlier this year, I had the amazing opportunity to travel with Tarte and I've saved a couple of goodies that I would love to give away to you guys today. There will be three winners. Let me show you what you can win. The first winner will win the entire Rainforest of the Sea lip gloss set. So there's a whole lot of lip glosses in here. Another winner will win the entire Tartlet palette. So you have the original Tartlet, Tartlet in Bloom, Tartlet Toasted. So you're gonna win three eyeshadow palettes. The final winner is going to win their holiday kit. This has tons of eyeshadow, blush, bronzer, highlight. There's an eyeliner, mascara, and lip product. And then I'm tossing in the extra lip set. They match cute. I went ahead and purchased three gift cards. So every winner is going to win a $50 gift card. 
to Alta. It's so cute, look at that, treat yourself. I hope that you guys are excited. All you have to do to enter is like this video, subscribe to my channel, make sure you follow me on Instagram, and I saw a lot of you comment on yesterday's video that you don't have an Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram and you have a Facebook, no worries, go like my Facebook page. Just interact, I will see you, I love you, thank you for supporting me. And finally, make sure you leave a comment below. I wanna know one thing that you did this year that you are proud of. I want every question to be like positive, you know? So many more giveaways to come, so definitely stick around. Please leave a way that I can contact you, whether that's your Instagram name, your Facebook name, your email. YouTube makes it really difficult to contact the winner, so let me know how I can message you and reach you. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays. Happy Whitmas. I love you. And until next time, which will be tomorrow, I will see you next time. Next time will be tomorrow. So, okay.